guys, it's Natalia from Natalia Fedner Design, and I'm here for Coco Perez. And today we're going to talk about a concept that is near and dear to my heart. One is the loneliest number. I don't know about you guys, but I hate it when I lose an earring. And then I'm like stuck with this other earring, and I don't know what to do with it. Well, today I've got a solution. Yay, solutions. All you need is a pair of pliers and that single lonely earring. As you can see right here, I have brought you guys an array of my earrings that used to have partners, but now they're strong, independent women, I mean earrings, and uh, they're on their way. All right, so what you do is you take, say, a pretty earring like this. So you have your earring. This is the part that you're gonna be working with right here. Now, if you don't have pliers, you can just use your hands, but it's gonna be a little more uncomfortable. So you take it and you clamp it, and you twist. Kind of squish it. See, I'm creating a loop. And then you can kind of use your hand if you want. You can use the pliers if it's easier. And you just twist it around. The key here is you don't want this poking into your neck. So we're turning these earrings into pendants. Again, you don't want any little piece of metal sticking into your neck. So you just squish, squish, squish. Great. Now we do a check because any good pendant, you want it to line up like this. Because if this part right here is flush against your skin, it's gonna make the necklace go sideways. So the key to this little trick is making sure that this guy is perpendicular to the necklace. So all I have to do now is take my necklace, which doesn't match this particular pendant, but hey, silver and gold, that's kinda of like in, right? And you just put it on, and there you go. The earring is no longer lonely. It is an independent, strong pendant. Well, thanks guys for checking in for this tip. If you want to learn more about my little design tricks and tips and fun times, go to nataliafednerdesign.com.